All right, guys, QG Collectibles here today, and uh, today we got my top 32 cards in my collection from e a different card from each team, best card that I have of each NHL team currently in the league. Uh, a lot of cool cards in here. Uh, some of them are fairly cheap, don't have the greatest cards of some of these teams, but I mean, I'm, a bit, I'm just kind of getting into the hobby, only been into it for about a year now, but uh, just kind of hoping that to grow my channel. Uh, so after this video, the next video will be me actually opening some packs. Um, I'll start to get into the packs. I just kind of wanted to let you guys know where I'm at in my collecting phase and uh, what are my top cards for, yeah, in my collection. So we're going to start off with Anaheim. We're going to go in alphabetical order. Uh, here we got the Troy Terry Young Guns. Pretty easy decision. The only guy who, the only card that really rivaled this was my Jamie Drysdale Young Guns. But Troy Terry, I pulled this back uh, a couple of years ago, but um, just a nice card. I've always liked him. Really like that he's really doing well now, not only for his card's sake, but uh, just really like the player. He's I've always liked him. So, uh, yeah, it's just a really nice card. Uh, for Arizona, uh, again, not really a super expensive card, but uh, we got the Barrett Hayton Orange Slice. I pulled this out of a loose retail pack of Allure 2019-20. Um, I, I only ever got a loose retail packs of Allure 2019-20. But I had some pretty solid pulls considering I just got retail. I have this orange slice out of 199. Really like the die cut. Um, I have the red rainbow of Barrett Hayton I pulled as well. And I have another card that I pulled from a loose pack um, that you guys will see later in this video. But yeah, uh, just a nice card for the collection. Uh, best card I have of Arizona. Um, moving on now to Boston. Pretty easy decision on this one. This has got to be the Jeremy Swayman Young Guns. Pulled this one. Out of my first pack that I ever opened of Series 1, it was a nice blaster pack, um, and I pulled this. Uh, great pull. I love, uh, he's one of my favorite goaltenders in the, like, young goaltenders in the league. Uh, really like his game. Um, he, uh, just, I just like his personality. Him and Linus Elmark just, every time you see him on the ice, you have a fun time uh, while you watch, because they just, they're so good in net, and... I mean, they just their personalities just are so great. Uh, moving on to Buffalo, another fairly easy decision here. Uh, Black Diamond Team J Logo Jumbos of Rasmus Dallin. Um, I pulled this, or I did not pull this. I purchased this uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, really nice card. When I saw it for twenty bucks, I just couldn't really pass it up. Uh, just a really nice card that I don't really have a whole lot of uh, Buffalo cards, so I decided to pick that one up. Uh, at the time. Uh, another pull in my uh, collection. Uh, nice Young Guns canvas of Yuso Valimaki. I know he's not on Calgary anymore. I uh, really wanted him to, to see him do well there because I've always kind of liked his play. Uh, but, I mean, he's going to get a chance in Arizona, but uh, wow. Uh, this is my, uh, yeah, this is uh, my best pull uh, from Calgary and my best card of a Calgary player. So, yeah. Uh, moving on to my next card is a recent pickup. I uh, picked this one up of uh, Brock uh, Contours Rookie Jersey Auto out of 199 of Brock McGinn. Really wish Contours was not a one-year product. I got a couple of cards of uh, Contours. And you'll see another one very soon in this video. Uh, I really like the uh, die-cut Jersey Autos and the other patch content and stuff like that. I really enjoyed it. I've never opened a pack, but just the cards in it just look phenomenal. Love it. I really wasn't wish, really wish it was not a one year product. Moving on to Chicago, got another contours card, a nice club crest contours patch of Ryan Hartman out of seventy five, fifty seven out of seventy five. A really nice patch. Easily the best patch in my collection. What a patch! I mean, you gotta love those patches of the Blackhawks. I mean, just an incredible patch card. My next card, Blue Jackets. Um, Elvis Merz Lincoln's SBX Base Auto. Nice auto, nice card. I mean, Merz Lincoln's, man, if the Blue Jackets were better, if they had a good team in front of him, I think he could do fairly well. So, uh, but, yeah, nice card. Really like the design on this. Just a nice, simple base card, but there's a lot going on, and it's a really nice look. So, yeah, uh... Next card, Colorado. You guys, if you guys watched my previous video, my top 15 cards, you guys will know that's the Kale McCarr Young Guns. Biggest pull to date. Uh, pulled it 
in one blaster of 2019 20 series 2 only got one blaster and i got this no reason to open anymore so uh yeah dallas another card if you guys watched my previous video you guys will know that this is the top card for dallas jason robertson young guns another pull uh just a great card uh his stock has finally come up i mean he's been a great player for a while and his cards are finally showing the value that they kind of he kind of deserves because um i mean like he's a great player great sh shot like he's just so good um and yeah his cards are finally uh, showcasing that phil phil peronic young guns canvas my next card this is my best card from detroit not a whole lot of detroit cards um a couple of teams that you'll see i don't really have a whole lot of real solid cards of that team but this is my best card for detroit nothing special but a nice card i pulled it uh yeah just a nice card Next card, another UD Canvas Young Guns of Evan Bouchard. I pulled, uh, you might guys all notice that these are all 2018-19. Pulled all three. Uh, just had really good luck with uh, Canvas Young Guns, and I pulled them all in that year. Uh, yeah, I didn't open a whole lot of retail or even packs back then, but uh, got a couple of nice pulls in uh, these Canvas Young Guns. Always like the Canvas Young Guns. Have you had to pull like an absolute monster Canvas Young Guns? But yeah. Just a really nice card. Uh, yeah, that's my best card of an Oiler. Moving on to Florida. Uh, this is the Henrik Borgstrom Clear Cut Rookie Auto. Another team I don't have a whole lot of, but just a nice card of a nice on-card auto of a player who I hope still does well, but his, uh, he's definitely, uh, his, uh, every year it kind of looks like he's not gonna really get to the NHL will really be a mainstay there. So, yeah. Uh, moving on to L.A., one of my favorite young players, Quinton Byfield. Uh, if you guys uh, don't know, uh, which you probably don't, uh, just uh, my, I'm a big fan of the 2020 first round. Like, uh, the first couple of picks, really like them. I mean, I would I like Byfield, uh, Drysdale, and uh, another player who you'll see uh, come up who's one of my main PCs. But, yeah, uh, Quinton Byfield, Young Guns, nice card. Minnesota, you guys watched my previous video, another card that's from there. Uh, Kaprizov, Stature Rookie, out of 85. Uh, nice card, really nice. Stature's one of my favorite products. It's the only real, it's the highest end product I've opened to date. Um, but just a really nice card. Really love the product, and I hope to open some more of it. Um, next card, another card from the previous video. Cole Caulfield Young Guns. Just uh, another really nice card. Pulled it out of a retail box of uh, Series 1, 2021-2022. Uh, really nice card. And, uh, yeah, Nashville. Not a whole lot of cards that I have of this team. However, of the player, I have a decent amount. I don't know why, but I've gotten lucky pulling him, I guess. Uh, Ely Tolvanen Young Guns. Uh, supposed to be a really big... Uh, Really good player for Nashville and never kind of amounted to that. Always had a really great shot, but aside from that, never really did a whole lot else. Um, and sent down on waivers, Seattle, what a claim. I mean, I'm surprised. I'm not really surprised, but uh, it's shocking that he 22 teams passed on him, but great player. He, I think he has a future. He just kind of has to, similar to Daniel Sprong, he's got to just kind of find his way in the NHL doing that one thing. Uh, now New Jersey. I put this on screen a little early, but Ty Smith, NHL Memoirs, Rookie Auto from Clear Cut 2020-2021. Current Pittsburgh Penguin. Really like him. I mean, the John Marino trade. John Marino's doing real great for the Devils, but he's uh, Ty Smith, I mean, I think he'll be a really good player for a long time for the Penguins. Um, yeah, I wish they would actually play him more. Uh, scratch Brian Dumoulin, put this guy in, but a nice player. Really good card. Nice player. I like the player. Auto's really nice. I mean, I just... Clear Cut's another product I would love to open. Never opened it. Just had all my cards from it or purchases. But uh, definitely would love to. Just the risk is insane in that. Because one card, you never know what you're going to get. But at least it's an auto. Nice auto there. Another alert card. This is the other card I was talking about that I pulled out of a loose retail pack. A Noah Dobson rookie jersey. I mean, nothing mind-boggling. But just the fact that I pulled an orange slice... A Barrett Hayton, a Red Rainbow of Barrett Hayton, and a Red Rainbow rookie jersey of Noah Dobson out of only 13 retail packs is just unbelievable luck. 
So, yeah. Just a real nice card. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about Allure. If there's a product that I'm really going to go after, it's probably going to be Platinum. But Allure's nice. Don't mind it. Uh, I don't really have a huge opinion on it, but... I mean, because end of the day, I would rather have OBG Platinum, but... Allure's nice. I like their cards. But uh, moving on to the next one. One of my main PCs, Crosby's number... Crosby's number one, a PC any Pittsburgh Penguins, and goaltenders really, mainly Penguins goalies, especially Mark Andre Fleury. And Martin Berder is another guy who I really PC. But this guy is one of my main PCs, hopefully. This is my best card of him. It's uh, Alexi Lafreniere. Mint 9, Tribute Young Guns. Kind of, I don't, I'm not going to say falling off. He's definitely not a bust yet, I don't think. Uh, I think people are definitely being a little premature. He's young. I don't think he'll ever be a 100-point player. I don't think he'll ever reach that pedestal of just being a consistent superstar 100-point player. But I think he's going to be a really solid player. Uh, really solid, really good top six forward for uh, years to come. I think uh, he's going to have a long career in the NHL. So, yeah. Uh, Ottawa. I picked this up at a card shop uh, in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Dominic Hasek out of 100. Have, I just have not seen a whole lot of Dominic Hasek's cards. So when I saw this, I was just like, I got to pick this up. Nice card, 10 bucks, as you can see on the price tag. But uh, just a nice card. Uh, don't really have a whole lot of him. But, I mean, he's at least one of the best goaltenders of all time, if not the best. He's just so dominant. But nice card of him. Philadelphia Flyers, one of the teams I have the least of just because I'm a Penguins fan. You never can like the Flyers as a Penguins fan. But, uh... Here's my card of the Philadelphia Flyers. Now it's a quad auto. Two of them are Penguins and two of them are Flyers. Uh, one of the, probably the most notable name on here is Scott Lawton of the Flyers. Yeah, uh, from Contenders. Contenders is one of those products that I would really love to open. I just don't know when I'll be able to just because it is such an expensive box for four autos, which are, is really nice. But, I mean, like, there's just, you don't, and you, there's not a whole lot of times that you get a really incredible pull out of it. But, I mean, this is, like, if you got this, like, you'd be pretty disappointed with a $200 box with a $15 card like this. But it's a nice card. I enjoy it. Nice. It's the only uh, quad auto I have. But, I mean, I enjoy the card. It's a nice card. Uh, that's my best uh, pit, uh, Flyers card. Moving on to the Pittsburgh Penguins. If you guys have looked, uh, if you guys saw my last video, you'll know. My number one card in my collection, the second year Trilogy. Swatch Auto of Sidney Crosby out of 25. 12 out of 25. My favorite card in my collection. Easily. Nothing else is even close. Love this card. Just a phenomenal card. Uh, moving on to San Jose. This is a pretty easy one. I mean, I got a dual jersey auto. Rookie auto of uh, Tomas Hurdle. The value just for that is really there. But this is what's going to take that spot. Timo Meyer Base Clear Cut Auto. Uh, I picked this up at a card shop. They had 10 bucks on this. I was like, I know he's definitely going to sell better than that. So why not pick it up? I've kept it ever since. So, But uh, I've always liked Timo Meyer. I mean, he's not he's not going to be ever one of my PC, main PCs. But, I mean, I'll take a really nice auto of Timo Meyer any day of the week for 10 bucks. For Seattle, haven't been around too long. Don't have a whole lot of cards of them. Hoping to maybe pull like a big uh, Matty Benier Young Guns or something in the future, but or some kind of big Seattle card. But for right now, the only Seattle card I actually have is this National Hockey Day Stars and Stripes of Philip Grubauer. Uh, nothing special, but it's a nice Seattle card. My first Seattle card I've ever had. Um, yeah, uh, that's one thing. Hoping to expand on the Seattle card collection. Really love to. Uh, for St. Louis. Um, this is my premier RPA of Mackenzie McEachern out of 149. I have a couple of these premier RPAs. Uh, I love, honestly, I really like premier. I've never opened it, but I hope to in the future. Hopefully the very near future. Um, just like, I love the product. I love the past content. Would love to open it. I got a lot of cards of it. So yeah, uh, premier RPA. Uh, for Tampa, pretty easy one. This Premier Swatch, another Premier card, out of 99 of Andre Vasilevsky. Andre Vasilevsky, far and away the best goaltender in the world currently. I mean, Shosturkin and Connor, I would say Connor Hellbuck and Shosturkin are pretty close number twos. Maybe Shosturkin edges Connor Hellbuck out a little bit, but for Russian goalies, for any goalie currently, 
it's always going to be Vasilevsky. I mean, he's just so good. So flexible, so big. He just he can do everything. And he's just one of, like, such a great goaltender. All right, uh, Toronto. Uh, there was a couple of cards who was kind of, they were kind of near, but this one kind of edged them out. Austin Matthews, rookie, you do portraits. Nothing insanely special, but it's a nice card. I pulled this one uh, back a while ago. Actually, I pulled this out of this tin right over here. This one, the Nathan McKinnon Series 2, 2016-17 Upper Deck 10. Uh, nice card. I've always liked it. Uh, just, yeah. Moving on to Vancouver. Another guy. One of my main PCs. Hope to get more of him. Would love to. Uh, it's going to be a Ryan Miller jersey out of 199 from Ultimate Collection. Just a really nice card. Re really like the green jersey. Uh, another guy who was one of my favorite goaltenders growing up, which is kind of weird to say since Crosby uh, scored on him so many times, but one of my favorite goaltenders growing up. He's right there with Marty Berder, Mark andre Fleury. Really hits home to heart. Or, yeah, close to the heart. Uh, just a really nice card of a really good goaltender. Hope to build on his collection. Uh, nearing the end, bottom, last three cards, uh, last three teams, Vegas. Now, I do PC Marc-Andre Fleury, but don't really have a whole lot of Vegas cards of him. So my best Vegas card is this Logan Thompson Young Guns. He's been absolutely phenomenal the past year, two years, for the Vegas Golden Knights. Like, last year, he wasn't, the, like, wasn't anything insane. But, like, this year, uh, like, just f so good in that call. Like, in the Calder race, he just has been, he was, he's just so good. Um, I think he has a really bright future in the NHL. Definitely, I think, going to be the backup, at least, if not even the starter, uh, when Robin Leonard comes back, if he comes back, depending on how healthy he is. Uh, another goaltender card. Uh, Washington Capitals, my brother, my older brother's favorite team. Definitely not mine. Don't really like him at all. But I do have a couple of their nice cards. Young Guns of Ilya Simsonov. Another pull. Really nice card. Uh... Definitely uh, like him more now that he's not in the Capitals anymore, but uh, great goalie. I mean, he has, I think he has a bright future in the NHL as well, as long as he just plays consistently, which is the one thing goalies struggle at. All right, final card, uh, Winnipeg Jets. Another goalie card. It is an Upper Deck the Cup rookie patch of Eric Comrie out of 249. Really nice card. Uh, I know his shoulder patches of the Jets of the Cup just sell insanely well. However, like, while this is a really nice shoulder patch, it's definitely not. It doesn't have any red or anything in it, but a nice card. Uh, picked it up for 15 bucks, so I'll take that all day. It's a nice shoulder patch from the cup of a solid goaltender. Er, but, yeah. So, yeah, that's the... Uh, those are my top cards from each of my, each team in the NHL currently. So, uh, thank you guys for sticking around uh, this long if you've stayed to the end of the video. Really appreciate it. And uh, next video, we're going to start opening up some packs, so... See you then. Have a good one.